Leon. Leo, how are you? <laughs> how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to another general reading. Okay, guys, um, this is general, right? So take what you can, leave the rest. Don't try to, you know, make everything fit your situation. If it doesn't apply, just let the freak fly, okay? So this is for you, Leo, someone rising in Venus. Um, please uh, remember that if you feel like this doesn't resonate, you can always check your moon rising in your Venus, all right? Please do not forget to hit that like button for me, please. If you want to see, you know, my more Leo reads on my channel, guys. If you guys want bonus readings, please be sure to like. All right, so this is for Leo. What is coming towards Leo and love? These spots here are just for my butterflies. My daughter took my butterflies off. I'm going to be putting my butterflies back by this Friday, guys, okay? And also, Leo, please join me. It's always fun. Please join me on Fridays to where we do the unspoken, okay, guys? All right. So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is coming towards Leo and love? Leo. Leo. Oh, gosh. Ooh. All right, guys. Well, we're going to take promise. This relationship shows a lot of potential if you are willing to put in the work, Leo. All right, if you're willing to put in that work, it shows some promise here. Inspiration, your angels are now giving you divine guidance to help you find your true love. We like divine guidance, right? <laughs> we like divine guidance. All right, this is for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is coming towards the Leos in love? Keep uh, keep in mind, uh, well, actually, guys, I'm bringing the charms back. So towards the end, we will be pulling some charms to see who you may be dealing with, zodiac sign-wise and everything. Okay, so keep watching. Don't click off. Um, and I will also be doing your work in your career, okay? So this is for Leo. What is coming towards the Leo? Wow. Over our energy here is the Ten of Cups. What's going on? This week, everyone is pulling this page of cups. I don't know what that's about. You may be dealing with a Gemini. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius because they kind of had those cards. But um, yeah, I mean, whoever you're dealing with, Leo, there's a potential for this to be your everything, okay? I mean, you could have, the, the even if you don't want to have kids, because I mean, not everyone wants to have kids, right? You can have dogs, okay? I don't know, a family of mice together or <laughs> something, cats, rabbits, raccoons whatever you into okay all right ten of cups is the is a beautiful energy leo i mean come on it's the overall energy for your your reading what is coming towards leo in love angels leo what else can you tell me for leo in love leo jeez what is coming towards leo in love what is coming towards leo in love what is coming towards Leo and love, please, Leo? So basically, Leo, um, you got somebody coming in here with a love offer, guys. Are you a Libra? What is coming towards Leo and love, please? Um, for my um, cross watchers, this Leo may be coming in bringing you a love offer, okay? Because I know I do have cross watchers that watch as well, okay? So reverse it the way you need to. It is a general reading. What is coming towards Leo and love? What else, angels? Wow. But why is there a lot of holding back? What's going on with the holding back? Maybe someone doesn't want to look vulnerable. What's going on? What's coming towards Leo and love? Because you come out in your own reading, Leo. You may be dealing with uh, an air sign, a Virgo, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, a Leo like yourself. Two Leos in a relationship. I bet the power struggle is real. What is that like? <laughs> what the freak is that like? I don't know. Maybe wrong, Leo. But uh, yeah, that's what it looks like, Leo. Maybe dealing with a Pisces and Aries. But I think you and this person have been kind of separated. There hasn't been any communication for what I'm seeing here. Uh, because Four of Swords shows that you guys are actually going to be reconnecting. Okay, so whoever this person is, they want to reconnect with you, Leo. Um, and they're going to be doing it very unexpectedly, you know, out of the blue here. That's why, I mean, the Knight of Swords is something that's completely unexpected. So what you're not expecting, what you don't see, Leo, is that, you know, this person's going to come in as the Knight of Cups. Some of you, this could be a new person, okay? And this person's sweeping you off your feet. You like this person a lot. They like you a lot. And they want to, you know, let you know how they're feeling, Leo. 
that's what they're going to be doing but at the same time i don't know why someone feels like they need to hold back a little bit um there may be a bit of issues with looking vulnerable okay this, per this person probably doesn't want to look weak i don't know why they think or maybe you don't want to look weak or someone doesn't want to look weak here i don't i don't know okay you got the hangman the emperor someone yeah someone has some pride and ego king of coins perhaps someone's been kind of focusing on their work their money okay but i feel like someone's going to start being a little bit more open with their emotions from what i'm seeing here Leo. this person may not be very good at it especially if they're showing up as an emperor okay this could be your husband for some of you or your wife coming out of nowhere reaching out to you okay <laughs> inspiration your angels are now giving you divine guidance to help you find your true love signs look for patterns that will show you what you need to do right now explore you have the secrets there are hidden feelings wow so leo this person could live at a distance um, from what I'm seeing here with the world card. But but this is kind of similar to Aries reading, okay? Because Aries reading was about someone kind of coming in at the last minute to stake their claim, to speak up, step up. All right, what is the Knight of Cups for Leo and love? What is the Knight of Cups for Leo and love? Knight of Cups. So these feelings have been hidden, Leo. Could be coming from a Pisces, but this person has been very mysterious about their feelings or someone wants to keep some mystery going. I don't know why they're doing that. So this person's coming in very apologetic for some of you or they're coming in very charming, very, very romantic, okay? This person's coming in very romantic, Leo, okay? They wanna move forward, okay? That's what they want. They're tired of being out in the cold, Leo. They just wanna be with you again. They're hoping that, you know, you decide to come back home or you, you decide to be with them again. That's for those of you if this is an ex, okay? Others of you, this is a new person, guys. And they may have a little bit issues being vulnerable, but I mean, they're gonna they're gonna do it here. What is the four swords in verse for Leo? What is the four swords in verse for the Leo? Ooh, okay, you guys see that? So maybe this person was overthinking in their head a lot. But they love and care about you, Leo. Queen of Cups is here. This person feels extremely drawn to you. I don't know. Someone just keeps dreaming about you as well. And they just want to let you know how they're feeling. What is the world? <laughs> they want to let you know how they're feeling, Leo. Uh, and I'm also hearing they don't care if you... If you don't, like, not reciprocate, but they don't care if you don't... Tell them that you love them back. Some of, some of you, they, they may be telling you that they love you or communicating some type of feelings. But even if you don't really uh, reciprocate right away, they don't care. They just want you to know that they love you, Leo. Um, wow. King and the Queen of Coins, Ten of Cups. They want to start over. They want a brand new slate if this is your ex, ex-wife, ex-husband, whatever. But some of you may be conflicted because maybe you do have somebody else here. <sighs> Okay, what a strength for Leo. <laughs> king and the Queen of Cups. I mean, King and the Queen of Pentacles came out together in the Ten of Cups. What is the strength card? Okay, so someone has been moving a little slow. Okay, so for some of you, maybe this person has issues of trust. Okay, if this is a new person. So that's why they've been holding back quite a bit. But I think this person is ready to follow their heart, Leo. Someone's ready to follow their heart. Um, what is the Knight of Swords? The Six of Wands reverse death and the Four of Cups. Some of you may be dealing with two people. I'm kind of thinking like maybe an air sign, then you have a water sign, possibly. Okay. The Empress keeps showing up. This could definitely be uh, someone's wife, someone's husband. Okay. But bottom line, someone's been doing a lot of thinking. What is the hermit? Some of you may be the, may, may be in this energy of, you know, kind of healing from something, Leo. And then here comes this person just waltzing into your life, you know, sweeping you off your feet. And you, you may you may find it hard to trust for some of you. But, I mean, Leo, there's no threat here, okay? <laughs> if I were you, I would definitely say yes. They want you to say yes, Leo. Just say yes. 
Um, clarifying the Hermit is the Knight of Cups. I mean, someone's really considering telling you how they feel, opening up here. Um, for those of you who you're the one doing this, you're considering telling this person how you feel and opening up. And I will definitely say go for it. It's a good move to make. I don't, some of you are worried if this person is going to reject you. They're not going to reject you, Leo. I think this person definitely loves you a lot. And if anything, they've been waiting on this and they see you as their 10 of cups. So, I mean, why not? <laughs> why not, Leo? I don't see anything wrong with a little bump and grind. All right. <laughs> well, Leo, you may find yourself conflicted to a sore. Don't know what to do. Oh, wow. This is a very good reading, Leo. Hmm. So I'm just hearing no more holding back. This person doesn't want to hold back anymore, Leo. So it's up to you what you want to do. Who is Leo dealing with? Give me some signs, angels. Who is the Leo dealing with? Who is the Leo dealing with, please? Any signs? Who is the Leo dealing with? Let me get one more. Who is the Leo dealing with? Okay. All right, so let's talk about the signs, guys. This could be moon rising or Venus. Keep in mind, okay? So you got four signs here, okay? So you could be dealing with Taurus, okay? You could be dealing with Virgo. You could be dealing with a Cancer. Or you may be dealing with an Aries, okay? There's a horseshoe, a horseshoe here. So this could mean something to you, okay? I'm not going to try to interpret everything. Just take it however it means to you. And I think with the rose, but this person is definitely coming in. This person's coming in very sweet, very romantic, Leo. They don't want to hold back anymore. You have another rose. There's like a bunch of queen symbols. So this person's definitely seeing you as a queen, their queen, okay, or their king, whatever. You have an R, an E, an N, a C, a J, an F, an S, a U, an M, a D, a Q, a G, an A, and an X, okay? So that is what we got. And then there's an apple here. So it could be a teacher or something like that, okay, guys? So let's take a look at your work and your career, and then I will let you guys go. Work and career for Leo. What is coming towards Leo and work and career? Work and career for Leo. What is coming... So Leo, basically what I'm seeing here with the Hierophant reverse, I feel like there's something about the rules, the policy of where you are, the way things are going. You don't really like it, okay, with the Hierophant. The Hierophant reverse is definitely something about uh, the structure. Maybe you don't like the leadership there. There's something that you wish that you could change, okay? Um, and maybe the change starts with you, Leo, with the Queen of Wands. This is you. So what would the Queen of Wands do if she doesn't like something? She's definitely going to speak up. She's going to take action to change again, okay? Um, you want some things. There's something that you don't like here. Um, you may be rebelling just a bit, okay? Something about the rules. Um, I've seen the... I've seen the the higher fit reverse to talk about something with like you know covid everything that's going on in the world to where it's like you you know your job may force you to vaccinate or some crap whatever depending on what you do um what is the hermit reverse but i don't think you're liking it i don't think you're liking it justice yeah you feel like there's a lack of justice and you feel like you want to stand up for what's right and you should you need to um the three of coins may be a meeting Okay, to where you're going to be talking with higher ups or something, trying to get something changed, trying to negotiate. Okay, I don't know exactly what it is, guys. The Emperor Reverse. Yeah, there's something that you don't like. You want something to change here. And if you got to like really kind of be a bitch, I see you being a bitch about it. Sometimes you got to be a bitch about things to get the change that you want. You, I know you guys heard of that saying before. You have to be the change that you want to see, okay? So if you don't like the policy, you don't like what's being enforced here, how your job is treating you, if there's some issue within the workplace, don't be afraid to talk to somebody with the three of coins, okay? That's what I'm getting, Leo. Pretty interesting work and career, okay? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. You definitely have someone who's wanting 
a fresh start with you or someone who's wanting to kind of be a little bit more expressive with their feelings towards you. But at the end of the day, it's up to you, Leo. Okay. Love you guys. And I will see you guys so, next time. I forgot to pull your cards with everything going on. Let me pull some of these messages cards for you guys. Let's see. All right. What does this person want to tell their Leo? What does this person want to tell their Leo? Someone may be a major regret, Leo. Major. It's not just little regret, major regret. <laughs> what does this person want to tell Leo? <clears throat> Secretly in love with you, Leo. Maybe this was a karmic situation or someone needed to close out um, a karmic relationship. Only you can please me. You're my one and only. Maybe someone recently went through a breakup or a divorce. This person may want to get back together. Or because they have recently went through a recent breakup or divorce, they just need a little bit of time. This could be why they've been kind of holding back here, Leo. But all right, well, they don't want to lose you, though. All right, Leo. So, what else for the Leo? I'm insecure when it comes to you. We got genuine lover for the Leo. Could be the new person. I'm so fucked up. <laughs> oh my God, is there someone else? This person's going crazy thinking that there's someone else and that could be um don't get me wrong some of you you don't want nothing to do with this other person leo okay you just don't anyway love you guys see you guys next time